What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and happy Saturday. And uh, as you can see, this is a very different setup. We just spent, I don't know, several hours basically taking everything in my living room, like shuffle everything around. Uh, and now I'm actually able to record videos basically at my desk, which should be very interesting. Hopefully things work out. I think just the lighting we might need to tweak, uh, but we have a very special opening. We finally got our trainer toolkits in. This is gotta be the best products um, and probably will be for a long time if you have I say this a lot if you have any interest in learning to play uh, IRL competitive I think this is a must-have definitely one two if you want to have a full play set of the Dene this opening is actually for our patreon Steve Steve thank you so much for the support and huge congratulations on the baby girl and here we go uh, hopefully the lighting's okay I feel like that's my only concern with this new set I think we'll put this across here and all right, let's get into these and we'll go over the contents and then we have some packs to open as well. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. Dice, uh, basically the same thing as ETBs, but I love the dice. If you don't have any with these numbers, I think they're actually super useful. Typical ETB stuff, you got some... All right, these sleeves are pretty cool. And then, let's see, it's off the side. All right, there he is. This is the most important thing. You get two of these alternate art Dedene, so good. A handful of useful trainers, and when they say useful trainers, like that's actually a true statement. And uh, then we got four, or was it four packs? Unbroken Bonds, very nice. Unbroken Bonds is actually really expensive right now. Sword and Shield, and then two Rebel Clash. Let's open up this guy, because there is so much value in here. All right, so let's see what we got as far as useful stuff. Double the Dene, and I love it's textured. Oh my gosh, this is so, so good. And then we got a handful of useful supporters. Malalana, very good. Oh, there is Boss's Order. We've opened like six boxes worth of Rebel Clash. Only have one Boss's Order. Finally, we can get it. It is a non hollow version. We got these alternate art Poke Gear, Quick Ball, super useful Fire Crystal. Let's see what else. Ooh, these are all super useful cards. Oh, the Special Energies Welder. There's another alternate reset stamp. Pokemon Come. And then it's weird that these are kind of like in a strange order. And eventually we'll hit another boss's order. We got another reset stamp. So just incredible stuff. There's that calm. And I think that's it. Uh, I'm guessing this is just a brick of energy. Very cool sleeves. And all right, I'm going to open up the other box. And then we'll get into these packs. All right, they were good to go. Uh, the, we'll just show off our hits. And actually, this is only half. So we do have four Dedenis, four boss's orders, everything you need. And here we go. Actually, let's do in batches. We'll do both Unbroken Bonds and then go from there. Let's see. Obviously, the huge hit here. We can find a Reshizard. And how ironic would it be to pull more Dedenes? And here we go into pack number one. So remember, though, these are regular sets. No longer like Hidden Fate ratios. So all of a sudden, we got to go back to, what is it? Like feels like one in six for a Ultra Rare. Venonet, a Meow. Gligar, Reverse, and then a Crobat. Pretty excited for the Crobat in Darkness Ablaze. So in case you didn't know, we do have a Patreon where you can pick up products from me. And actually these ETBs, we do our, uh, we will send them, we'll open it for you and then send you everything important for just $20 for our VIP patrons. All right, let's see, Krabby, Tangela, a Froki Reverse, and then a Kartana. So nothing too crazy from the UBB packs. On to Sword and Shield. But uh, yeah, I feel like if you just pick up one of these boxes plus the Pikaram Big Battle Deck, that is brings you like 85% of the way there for to maybe even more uh, to have like a very competitive list that you can compete at the highest levels. Rare Candy Reverse, and then a Pultigeist. So like the packs haven't been too great, but again, like just the, I feel like the packs is bonus. The everything else, I feel like more than pays for itself as far as this product goes. So this one is absolute home run. 
you don't really need to find anything in these packs. Mudbray, a Ponyard, Score Bunny, Toxic Crook, and then a Sindrace, the Libero Sindrace. Pretty cool card. I feel like I wasn't able to see it used very well. All right, on to Rebel Clash. How ironic would it be if like, all right, now we find the boss's orders. Like, oh, here's, have like a full art boss when you finally get your playset on like easy mode. Ooh, horror energy, very nice. I'm guessing there's some of these in the toolkit as well. I saw the speed, I didn't notice the horror energies, but. All right, let's see, Yamask, Surskit, a Grubbin is our reverse. Ooh. We do have a full art melodic V. I would say this is one of the kind of like had a lot of potential and one of the more disappointing cards of the set. You know, you got like the Galarian Mine, Absol, so some pretty uh, high potential for this card, but just didn't really pan out. It, it is like too colorless, so maybe you could just have like a welder engine. But just the fact that it's water, it is only one water though. All right, so we did get a hit out of the eight packs, so it won't be a complete shutout. Here we go, we got three packs remaining. We got Dan. All right, we'll put this off to the side for sure. All right, Stuffle, a Lotad, Durant, and then a Greedent. Two Intellion pack arts remaining. So yeah, let me know what you think of this setup. Uh, you can kind of see, you know, we have some stuff in the background. Oh, a bunch of Funko Pops and a bunch of Pokemon plushes. Turtle plushes, of course. Another Horror Energy. More Peko, Meowth, Caterpie, Cur Cursola, Litwick, Shinx, a Shuckle Reverse, and then a Electivire. Hmm, alright, so one full art for eight packs is not too good. But when you think about it, this is basically an ETB at this point as far as the number of packs we get. And uh, sometimes you do just get purely shut out. Wow, we're hitting all the horror energies. So even if you do plan on, well, not that we get got you the Dragapults, but we got you the horror energies. All right, here we go. Darumaka, Lampent, and then just a Aegis Slash. So not too good on the packs, but here are the real prizes. And double Dedene. So crazy. Like, what was this, like a $30 card not too long ago? But, uh... Steven, thank you so much for the support on Patreon, and thank you everybody for watching. We'll probably be opening a bunch of these toolkits. Actually, let me just say one more thing, is you also get this box, which um, could probably be used as, so this thing's kind of like really in here. And, um, hmm, you know, I wonder if you could kind of fit like a deck in here, and then kind of have like all the knickknacks you need to bring to League, and maybe like, I wonder if this is how it's just designed for. You bring everything, this is just one package uh, to bring everything to whatever event you're going to. But uh, yeah, that's it for me today. As always, guys, thanks for the support. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.